the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world Gaia springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new. Went mad. Now, a force of corruption feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day, vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain, born of man, beast, and spirit. We are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. Best way to get Indra out of the region. It is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. So, how do we go about this, Rodko? Who does what? Ludmilla knows the location, so she will take point. She'll infiltrate the site and connect Ava to their network, giving her access to their system. Once I'm hooked up, I'll only need a few minutes. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Carl. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. You just focus on your mission. Call. I've got this. I love you. See you soon. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? And she's Adana's mother. I should be out there with her. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, you can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait. Got everything squared away? Not a lot. Still got a... 
Don't be so hard on your... I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey, how you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. We're not on vacation, Adie. We're here for Gaia, for the Cairn, and you're here to learn how we do things. I know, but couldn't I have learned how we do things back at Tarker's Mill? It's not like you've got me helping out with the mission or anything. Try connecting with the spirits. Feel their presence around you. The pain hindrance causing them. That connection makes you a Garu. I'm trying. Believe me. But I just can't. Don't worry. It's always harder before your first change. And if the change never comes, if you're human, like your mother, that's fine. She may not feel the spirits. But she's the finest infiltrator we have. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. If something happens to her... I wish I could've. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. Everything will be alright, don't worry. Try to focus on the spirits. We'll be leaving this place soon. Oh, shit. Kahal, wake up! We're gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Tell me Ludmilla's okay. She's okay. They've still got no idea she's on site. But their guard patrols have changed, and certain areas are locked down. And that includes the one Ludmilla's in. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off site, the locked off areas need to be manually unlocked. And Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts.
guards. But Mello, we got a lot of company. The arrival of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should travel for a few minutes. But if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get any worse. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Fixed and fast. Some big shot just arrived on the site. Turns upstairs where everything would be perfect. In the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly at the passageway leading into it. Shit! Something's following me. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer. He's. But Miller, just hold on. Fuck. Rodko. I heard. No more sneaking around. We fight. Now go! I'll meet you with repeat. I'm done fucking around.
died here at one point. Oh, fuck! No! Please, no! Listen to me! Oh, damn it! No. You need to fight the rage. Oh, this Rafid! Stop it! No! What have I done? Rafik? There's no time to mourn. We need to go. reported back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an engine rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Endrin? Hey, what the...
All clear, Dusk. We're good to go. Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I had to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. will be unveiled alongside the opening of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I had become a danger to my pack. I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rodgo, of Ava, of Adi. This is the closest I've been to Tarker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gone quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Ender. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. Create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup and the plan falls through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if you go through the ventilation docks. What do your clients intend to do with them, any weather stormers? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking riddance. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the earth. And guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin. Another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. All right. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother. Orders are packed in the delivery bay and ready to go. Let's do our inventory checks for next month.
I'm inside. Good. Try to keep a low profile, would you? Hendren reached out to me, you know. They're hiring, and the pay's pretty good. I'm sure it is. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a group of activists right now. Lamb to mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down. announcement about their new biofuel they say they're going green by the end of the year the only thing green about that fuel is the label it's the same shit with new branding a marketing stunt attractive operation here. I mean, they're pumping out weapons for Andrew, not selling timeshares. Looks probably not their priority. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be on there. You really think I drive on? Search that 
According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. All right, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Then it's time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. is meeting with upstairs. She's from Andron, here for the special order. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Is she picking up some golden guns while she's at it? You know what they say. Hello? Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. Waiting. Oh, paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill? Hey! You and I need to talk. Get ready oh. to get rowdy. Die! <sighs> Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs>
dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. Alarm went off in the boss's office, but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear. Anybody there? Watch out! He could be close. Keep your eyes open. We've got a killer in our midst. Stay on your from the delivery bay either. Shit, what's going on?
minutes. Security! Get over here, now! for any <laughs> area Too late. Engine is already here. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Oh, 
over there! Zidana. Don't worry, Cahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I heard that the Cairn was going to be attacked. I was afraid for you. For Adana. And how did you hear that? I overheard Endrin talking about it on my last job. I may have left Tarker's mill, but I never turned my back on it. I couldn't just abandon you. You found it easy enough five years ago. Your Cairn and your daughter have always needed you. I tried to tell you that. Where is she, Rotgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. The best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Brainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then, we'll talk about the mine. <laughs>